What's up everyone and welcome to Where Is Chuck, the video series where I try out different guitar related gear for the absolute first time and I just forget about the f microphone. What's up everyone, welcome to Will It Chug and this was the absolute first take happening right now. Will It Chug is the series where I try out different guitar related gear for the absolute first time and see if I can make it chug or not and how quick I can make it chug. Now if it is a really chuggable piece of gear. And today I'm trying out the Amp Tweaker Tight Metal which has been highly requested for quite some time. Now what is so special with this? Well the man behind the Amp Tweaker brand is none other than James Brown who designed the legendary PV5150. I spoke to him at NAMM a couple times, he's an absolute legend. And now finally I get to try out one of his pedals and this is the Tight Metal. There's also a pro version but I have the Tight Metal, non-pro. And that fits me better because I'm not a pro. If there was a pedal called the Tight Metal Amateur that would be the one for me, just saying. So I'm gonna try this pedal today, I have it hooked up into the normal gain channel clean channel of this PV5150. Clean as you can hear and I'm absolutely ready to try this out so I'm just gonna give it a go. Okay. Will it chug? Oh let's try it again. Will it chug? There you go, it's a tight little knob. It's good that it's tight because it's, it's called the tight metal. So yes, all right, okay, level. Okay, gain. No, tone. Volume, tone, gain, tight. Okay. It's chugging right now. I haven't even touched the tight knob. How f weird is that? <laughs> Okay, let's, uh, let's just try the tight knob then. Ah, I, I see what you're doing right here. Listen to that. That's a pre-filter happening right there. I like it when it's at zero. I don't like tightness, I guess. Okay, what's this? Okay, there's a. Let's try the different uh, switches here. We have Frash. Is this Frash? Oh, it's mid, so. Basically scooping the mid. Yeah, I didn't like that. Let's go back. Fing hell, that's uh, pretty cool. Okay, okay, gate. Oh, that's nice. That's a gate. But it removed some of the gain, actually. Listen. That's a little too much, maybe. Okay. Ah, there's a high gain switch right here. Let's try that and bring back the chomp. You know what that sounds like? Oh shit. Oh. That sounds really f***ing good to be honest. I mean despite having not too many knobs on there, I mean you don't even have an EQ, you have a tone thing right here. Uh, at this point, I mean this short into the demo, did I say that it chugged? It chugged. Okay. Even though I haven't played this thing for more than a minute or so, it's safe to say it's probably one of the best distortion pals I have ever tried. Really. I mean, it sounds f***ing kick ass. I think this sounds 
like a tube amplifier basically, or like a tube distortion. All right guys, so I'm actually back. You know, I went to listen to the recorded signal of this and you know, it sounded a little fried to be honest. And it was not really a good representative of what I was feeling and, and you know, uh, hearing in the room right here. So, you know, I figured I would just move the microphone a little bit, try out a little bit more, because I don't think the result that I had in my Willet Chug that I just did, uh, it, it didn't sound as good as I said that it sounded. Does that make any sense? I was saying it was probably the best uh, distortion pedal I've heard in a long, long time. But it didn't sound like that when I was listening to that uh, signal that I had. So I'm gonna play it again because old England. So let's uh, play a little more. I mean, I think it sounds absolutely kick-ass in the room like this, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about how the microphone catches that sound. And if it doesn't sound good in the microphone, I mean, what's the point, I guess? So, I just wanted to make this little revision right here, and hopefully this will sound better and more closer to, you know, what I'm hearing right now in the room. So, there you go. Thank you so much for listening to me and giving me a chance. This is just how it is sometimes. You know, you listen back to something that sounds like absolute horseshit, but you're talking really well about it. That doesn't make any sense at all. But it does actually sound really f good in the room, but it's gonna be exciting to see how this one will sound. Anyways, thank you for watching, and thank you for having a little bit more patience with me. See ya, bye. Shit in my absolute shit face. Damn, damn it. I think this is probably one of the best pieces of distortion pedal I have ever tried, in will it chug at least. Holy f face, man. Why haven't I tried this before? I have no idea. I've been stupid. Like really, really stupid. This is my new favorite distortion pedal. At least until tomorrow. <laughs> Kudos to Am Tweaker, man. I, that, that makes me really excited. I mean, to have something like this that doesn't even have an EQ on it, it only has this tone knob, you know, it sounds absolutely incredible. And the tight uh, knob, I wasn't really too much of a fan of that, but shit. Other than that, I think everything on there makes sort of sense. It has its own kind of loop going on, so you can put in like a delay pedal or something like that if you want to use, you know, modulation. And it also has a sidetrack loop at the side here, which means that if you disengage it, the sidetrack loop activates, which means you can have a totally separate rig or something like that happening. Pretty cool. There you go, that's the Amp Tweaker Tight Metal for you. There's also a pro version, but you know, I'm amateur, so I have the amateur version. But that's more than enough for me, man. And uh, that makes me really excited and happy. So there you go, all is excited, look. So excited I am. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you. Hope you love me a little bit. See ya.